What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Crispy Cliff, man. Back at y'all again. One of these hood story times, man. You know, I am the creator of the hood story time. So, man, it's only right that I give y'all what y'all been waiting for, man. But before we do that, as always, let's check out the drip. You see it. Mar Martin Payne. Just, just a little Martin Payne throwback jersey. If you like this, you can go get it from Headgear Classics, man, on Instagram. But like I say, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like so it go into everybody's algorithm. I already know most people listening to this be listening to it at work, on their way home from work. You know what I'm saying? Just to get their day passed by fast. So, you know what I mean? It's a pleasure for me to do this for y'all. All I'm asking for you to do is give me a thumbs up. Just a second. I'll be right back. All right, man, so this hood story time, bro, is about the time that me and my dog, he's going to go unnamed, even though it's past the statutes of limitation. Man, we hit a big-ass lick, bro, and this is going to be a two-for-one story, man, because uh, the night that we did this, it was Nipsey Hussle's concert, man, so RIP to Nipsey Hussle, man. It's going to be a double banger one right here, man. You're going to want to tune in. So, yeah, man, without getting too far into detail, man, me and my dog used to do a little thing, man. He used to ride around and, you know what I'm saying, pick up some choke, get back ends, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit that road, get back ends, do, you know, do, do what niggas got to do to survive type of situation. But we wasn't never catching no traction, people. My bad if my lip's purple. I've been sipping a little bit of, don't worry about it. But uh, we wasn't catching no traction, y'all. We was hustling our ass off, man. But y'all ever heard the term hustling backwards? Yeah, me and my dog was hustling backwards, man. We was never, we was never getting to that bag the way we was out here consecutively chasing and trying to get it. We were never getting to it like that, man. It was frustrating us as young niggas. We was 20, 21, young, dumb, full of calm, just looking for the quick come up, man. We were just young. So, man, after weeks, hell, even months of this type of situation going on, man, we had our own apartment at a young age, bro. And, we didn't have no job. We didn't have nothing. We didn't have no trade underneath our belt. We knew nothing about credit. We didn't have nothing, bro. All we had was the street knowledge that we got and a little bit of hustle and drive. So, man, <clears throat> we was uh, jugging, but we couldn't keep up with the demand, if y'all understand what I'm trying to say. We wasn't those guys. We was never those guys. We just could not keep up with the demand, man, and it was really frustrating because to get to that next level, you had to keep up with the demand, man, and Thankfully, we didn't. We we wasn't able to keep up with the command. That's the reason why I'm here to tell you the story today, man. Because thankfully, we wasn't able. But uh, so one day, somebody hit the phone like, "Hey, man, I got thirty two hundred dollars. Didn't pay it no mind." I'm like, "Fuck, that thirty two hundred. Like a week goes by, the same person hits the phone, and they had like five bands, like five racks. This was like 2012, something like that." They had like five racks, man. So me and my dog, we devised the master plan that we got to get this, bro. We need this bag, bro. We too much stuff to pay for. We need to get a car. We, Bro, we was holeless, doleless, clothesless, no car. We ain't had nothing but a little bit of driving, a little bit of hustle. We knew how to put it on and make it look fancy, you know what I mean? But, you know, we needed that bag behind us. So, uh, yeah, man, me and my dog, we put down, a, we, just, we, we devised a player little plan, man. We had already drove the little route that we was going to use to execute this plan four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times, man. So, man, we get to the gas station to meet up with the person who has the $5,000 without saying too much. Y'all already know what's going on. So we meet up with the person, and the person identifies the person that I'm with. My dog identifies me like, hey, such and such, such and such. Don't I know you? Don't, don't you know such and such? Isn't this your people? Isn't that your people? Me and my dog, we both looking at each other astonished, like, what? But our, we already had the, the fuel for hunger that hit a stain anyway, so it was going to happen anyway, you know, regardless of who the fuck it was. And on top of that, that night, Nipsey Hussle was coming into town, man. So we was going to go to that Nipsey Hussle concert, man, by any means necessary, man, for real. So, uh, like I say, man, they called out the person that I'm with, like, hey, what's such, 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 such. And like I say, me and my dog, we done did this, we done replayed this routine so many times before the actual day came, it was already running like faucet water. And this right here was the uh, alert, like, oh my God, what the, alert, alert. And this was, this is what it comes down to, is you built for this life, or is you ain't built for this life, because 
Me and my dog, we was like, fuck it. It is what it is. We got to do what we got to do, bro. Fuck it. We done came this far to do what we got to do. So we hit the route. Hit the route we was going to take. Made a little small conversation. Such and such and such and such. Yeah, man. The, the price of tea in China is high. And such and such and Arabian silk and such and such. Get up, fuck, nigga. Yeah, get it all up. Get up, fuck, nigga. Kids, this is nothing to be proud of. This is a statute of limitations is passed up. This is in my past. This is just a hood story time, bro. This is nothing to be proud of, kids. People, people, people. This is real life. So we got get on their ass, man. Get the fuck up, nigga. Get the fuck out the car. Get the fuck out the car right now. Get on their ass. Woo, woo, woo. They have out the car. We smack off. We smack off. We going good. It's snowing. The elements was with us, man. It's a lot of details I'm leaving out in the story, bro, because I have to. But the elements was with us that day because it's snowing. It's snowing, hella snowing. So, you know, the snow can cover up a license plate, front and back. And it stops you from speeding. You know what I'm saying? Just in case there was an alert call, even though it was a situation that happens in the game. This, this situation just kind of happened in the game, bro. So, uh, and it's a, a magnificent, crazy twist to this story that I'm not going to get to tell in this hood story time, bro. So, when y'all watch this, make sure y'all comment, drop part two to this, because it's going to have to be a part two, because there, there's a lot of detail that I left out for a good reason. But and it gets tricky, and it's a lot of tricky stuff that I'm not going to mention, but I will in a part two, just demand it. <sighs> so, yeah, man, we had already had it mopped out, so we know where we going. We are smashing, bro. We smashing, bro. I don't even want to name the city we in. We, we smashing. We get to the destination that we get to. And we was young niggas, bro. So, like, $2,500, $3,000, that was a whole bunch of money to us, bro. We was young niggas, like, for real young. Nigga, like, just fresh out of our teenage years. So, we get to the little spot, man. We spent the money straight down in half, man. Just me and my dog. That's like real niggas do, bro. But what we did for that bread, bro, so most niggas would catch cold feet. So, bro, we spit our bread up, do what we got to do. And, you know, at this point, at this point, this is one of them, all right, situation off the porch already ready for it like what the fuck what up we out here thugging however nigga want to come do they can do it we don't give a fuck who they know nigga all i know is we bought a big ass chopper with this motherfucking money that's what i do know nigga so yeah man like i said nipsey hustle concert was that night you know what i mean and let me just throw a little bit of information out there the niggas that we had supposed to have got but see this ain't was from california some some they're from california so that's what we thinking at the time, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, it's a twist to this story that I'm going to have to put in the part two because it shit get too intricate, man. So like I say, bro, the niggas is supposedly been from California. How do we know that? Because like I say, these people knew my dogs, people, people, like family. So they called and was like, such and such, your people did this. So his family called, his family. And was like, man, just give the money back. And my dog, being who he is, he's like, bro, we ain't giving up shit. Ain't nobody getting nothing back. Get it in blood, bro, like Dracula, bro. That's how you ain't gonna get it back type of situation. Plenty of people stay to college. They know who you is. Who to who these niggas from California? See, out here they be using that as a threat. Oh, these niggas from California. These niggas from California. These niggas. Whatever, nigga. Tell them niggas from California they can get in blood type of situation. And we're gonna be at the Nipsey Hustle concert. So, nigga, we ain't hiding. What NBA said, we ain't looking for me, looking, we ain't hiding, baby. We ain't hiding, baby. So, boom. And like I say, kids, this ain't this ain't no bragging or boasting. This is shit that come with the streets. That's why you need to stay stupid ass out of the streets, man. It's way other shit to do than to get into the streets, bro. Take it from a nigga like me, bro, who done went through all type of adversity, man. And I'm I'm not just going to tell y'all the goods. I'm, I'm going to give y'all the bad to come with the shit, too, just so you know this ain't shit to idolize and be sweet about. So, uh, yeah, man. So like I say, Nipsey Hussle was coming into town. And, at the, and I'm big active Paru, nigga. So at the time, bro, I'm just wanting to go to the concert just to bang on this nigga, bro. Free my sis, bro. All of us, basically, at the same time. We all wanted to do the same shit just to bang on a nigga, even though we like this music type of situation, bro. But uh, like I said, man, they was giving my dog all phone calls, whoop, whoop, this, that, and the other. And like, pff, man, whatever happened, it happened. They had got gangster, bro. It was real. Wasn't nobody getting nothing back. That's not how we play around here and this was in my younger days people bro this is in my younger days man so uh yeah needless to say bro i took my i was a little more cautious than my dog so i left a lot of my bread at the house and i brought like 250. see my dog he was young but he was a young bull back then he was probably like 19 back then but my dog brought his whole night and his attitude was fuck a nigga that was his attitude nigga. <laughs> that's how i liked it 
That was my attitude too, but I just wanted to be safe on the cushiony side, man. Cause that I already had my eyes on the uh, T top, nigga, nineteen eighty nine uh, Firebird, and I got that the very next day, so I had to stay out for that, man. So yeah, man, this was back in the day, man. This was back in the days. Like I said, man, it's gonna be intricate parts of this story that I can't put in right now. I gotta sit back and get this shit some actual thought. Then I'll be able to come back with a part two, man. Like I say, I can't even say names, name no names, or nothing like that, man. But uh, this type of thing happened on multiple occasions, bro. And like I say, bro, this that story time, bro, get a little tricky, you know. And this is gonna be a short one because I did two in a day for y'all, man. Uh, but make sure if you wanna hear the second part to this, man, make sure you drop it in the comment section, man. Make sure you put it in the comment section, bro, because I'm going to get juicy with it. This is just part one, so I just had to put it out there so it was there, man. But uh, like I, like always, bro, it's love, man. It's your boy, Crispy Cliff, man. Keep a hood the way you keep a hood. Make sure your surroundings are good, man. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. We out.